your chance. Now's the chance. <laughs> this is so exciting. Uh, I am excited. Yeah. And this is a, a chance for the whole world to see Victoria the T-Rex, one of the world's largest and most complete fossil skeletons ever found. And I couldn't bring her today, but um, I did my best. So um, let me see if I can... Oh. We have photos. Bring it over. Um, I don't know that we have photos. What did you bring us? I brought us a T-Rex. Oh, look at this. So, um, how fun. <laughs> okay, so what exactly, what type of dinosaur was a T-Rex? So T-Rex was a T-Rex, a carnivore. Um, so this is a, a, the best example I can give you right now. Just to give everybody an idea, we've seen our T-Rex. Come a little closer, T-Rex. Yeah, get in here. Good I know. job. So um, she was definitely a meat eater. And uh, Victoria, who we have on site at the Science Center, she's 40 feet long, 12 feet tall. Wow. She's massive. And we have all 199 of the real fossil bones that they found. Wow. I know. She's Do we know where she was found and when? Yep. So 2013 in Faith, South Dakota, and then she was processed in Victoria, British Columbia. So really fast turnaround on her. And then this is her world premiere. She's never been on display for the public before. We've had a couple sneak peeks in the last few days mm -hmm. for, for just for media. So we're starting to see those pictures come out. But her official world premiere party is tonight, and then regular hours start tomorrow for the public. That's going to be so premiere. exciting. How I'm old is she? So she's about 60 six million years old wow. she's very old it's hard to wrap your head yeah it around. really is it is it's a long time and we have some great activities at the science center to help understand okay. that um, and of course we've got a, a geologic timeline that i didn't bring today because it's like 50 feet long that's okay um, but we start to understand what fossils are so i brought some today have you guys ever had a chance to get your hands yes on some fossils? yeah um do you recognize anything here um a fish that's a fish? about it all right scorpion fish? maybe uh yeah. No. Be honest. I'm like, is that a shrimp or a scorpion? I have shrimp, no idea what this one is. You're I right. probably should have looked at it. So this one's pretty famous. This is a trilobite. Um, so this one's about three to four hundred million years old. Wow. That you're holding right there. to be holding something that mm -hmm. old. So these, the Orthoceras, you can get these in a lot of rock shops because they're really common marine fossils. These are about four hundred million years old. Even really? Yeah, almost five hundred wow. million years old. Um, and that one that you're holding, Ty, you want to take a guess at what that might be? Petrified wood. Oh, you got Look it. Look at you. Petrified wood. So I was a, a rock nerd when I was a, ki a kid. <laughs> you know what? That's okay. You fit right in. I actually collect a lot of rocks too so uh, well how does that feel heavy compared dense. to wood really yes. dense compared to wood so the thing about fossils there are a couple different types but here we've got petrified wood where it's been mineralized and now it's rock it's not wood anymore it's rock ah. so same thing with uh, victoria's bones they've been mineralized and now they're rock, rock. Wow. so we have some more uh, activities to understand that so how do paleontologists start to find those things so you can use tools in our mini dig pits to start uncovering different pieces if we were being really good paleontologists we'd run a string grid across it so that we could document where everything was found. But this one's just fun. And in here we have um, some Oops. pieces of dinosaurs for kids. There's three different pieces you can put together, the dinosaur that's in there. I'm not even sure which one's in there. Oh, you started to uncover it there. Something. Might be a, uh, is it a stegosaurus? I can't quite tell what it is. I don't know my dinos. Yeah, oh. we're running well, out of time, so when and okay. how and... Uh, well, where exactly will people be able to see? All right, so Arizona Science Center is right downtown at 7th Street in Washington. The world premiere party for Victoria is tonight. That is a public event, so you can find tickets online at azscience.org. Otherwise, regular hours start tomorrow. That's going to be so cool. We're right. very, very excited. She's Thank spectacular. You. Can't Love wait it. to see her. All right, we'll be right back. Oh, what is that? Get out and go, go, go to the RV show at State Farm Stadium. Go for top brands. Go for a massive selection.